channel i'm here today to make a very exciting announcement starting on june 21st the first day of summer we're going to be starting the run rat reads summer reading challenge it is the first reading challenge that i have made of this kind so i'm hoping that you will participate i hope you'll join with me the reading challenge like i said starts on june 21st and it goes on till september 23rd 2023 so every single day in summer the challenge is to read books that meet some specific prompts but the goal with every reading challenge is just maybe to motivate you to read more and help you find books to read so help you find books that uh, are around a specific prompt but if you read other books I won't police you the challenge is to read books that are 150 pages or more except in specific prompts because as I need motivation to pick up different kinds of books I think maybe you need some of that inspiration as well so run Rat reads reading challenge has 14 prompts and each prompt starts with a letter from run right reads so you will be running figuratively and reading along with me that is the goal so here are the prompts for the run right reads reading challenge the first prompt is the r prompt and it is to reread any book so any book that you have read whether it was a book that you loved and want to reread or a book that you felt a little ambivalent about and other people have said they liked it and you say maybe i should revisit that book reread any book and you can meet the r prompt for the run right reads reading challenge you is underrated read a book by an underrated author so someone who you think maybe should get a little bit more acclaim than they have been getting read a book and promote it i guess um help other people to maybe rate that author a little higher so the you prompt is to read a book by an underrated author so you're getting it right are you so n n means new read a book published in 2022 or 2023 so any new book that you read will fulfill that prompt w is for weird <laughs> read a book with a weird title so i can think of many weird titles and i'm sure you can too i'm gonna make another video maybe tomorrow with some recommendations of books that you may want to choose for these prompts but i want you to start thinking about books that maybe you want uh push to read some books from your shelves do you have a book on your shelf that has a really weird title then pick it up and read it for the w challenge r is for red white and blue red white and blue read a book with two of the three usa flag colors on the cover so if your book has red and white or red and blue or blue and white or if it has red white and blue that's perfect read a book with two or three of the usa flag colors on the cover that's the r challenge the second r challenge I is for ice cream. Read a book that has ice cream on the cover or mentions ice cream in some way. So it could be a character who is eating ice cream. <laughs> it could have a picture of someone eating ice cream. It could be a book about the history of ice cream. It doesn't matter. Something that mentions ice cream will help you fulfill that prompt. G is for graphic. So read a graphic memoir or graphic novel or manga or comic, any page count. So for this specific category, the book does not have to be 150 pages or more. Any graphic novel, memoir, manga or comic, any page count will fulfill the prompt. So any graphic memoir, novel, manga, or comic that you read, any page count will help you fulfill that prompt. The H challenge is home. H is for home. Read a book with home in the title or a book that is set in your hometown or a place that is home for you. So hometown, home state, home country, home. H is for home. T is for true. So read a true story. It could be a memoir, it could be a biography, it could be true crime, it could be a book that is based on true events. Any true story. Yeah. R is for romance. Read a romance or an anti-romance book. So it could be friends turn to lovers or lovers turn to enemies. A romance or an anti-romance book will help you fulfill that prompt. E is for easy. Read a book that you consider to be easy. And again, for this prompt, any page count will do. So if you consider children's books, children's picture books to be easy reads, you could read a children's picture book and fulfill that prompt. So E is for easy. A is for anthology. Read a collection of poems or essays or stories. Any anthology, it doesn't matter. D is for day. Read a book with day in the title. And S is for set. Read a book that is set in the Caribbean. Yes, I know Caribbean is over, but I'm always promoting Caribbean literature. So 
this is my little way to sneak in you reading a Caribbean book in this challenge. So those are the prompts for the Run Rat Reads Summer Challenge. It starts on June 21st, it goes until September 23rd. So just a little over three months to read 14 books. The goal is to motivate you to read 14 books over that period. If you find books that meet multiple challenges and you don't want to read 14 individual books then that's also fine but let me know in the comments down below if you're going to be participating if you're going to be joining me for the run rat reads summer reading challenge the inaugural run rat reads summer reading challenge i'm looking forward to participating i hope you will too and i hope you'll have a lot of fun put a link in the description box down below where you can download the printable i promise it has more color than this and maybe it will be helpful for you to track your books as you're reading them for the challenge so in any case i hope Hope you will participate i hope you're excited about this reading challenge and i look forward to reading these run rat reads books with you over the three months of summer so happy start of the summer i hope you have a lot of fun selecting books for the reading challenge and until we come back for another video recommendations motivations other things that we'll be talking about in future videos until we come back for that next video happy reading bye